Creality's Ender 3 version 2, the newer version of Creality's best seller, the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro. Will this be another bestseller for Creality? Here on Zachary's 3D Prints, I'm going to do a review about this brand new 3D printer from Creality. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing. With tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review, news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. If you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, please check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. So Creality's Ender 3 version 2. It's the newest version of the Creality Ender 3 or the Ender 3 Pro. In my case, I do have the Ender 3 Pro, which I have heavily modded with a different kind of nozzle, different kind of fan duct, different kind of board, different kind of screen, a dual Z axis. I have yellow springs. I have a different kind of print bed on there. Um, I have every, everything I could imagine I have improved on the Ender 3 Pro. On this machine, however, this is still a very standard thing which you can buy on many sites. I will put the affiliate link in the description of this video to support my channel, but also provide you with one of the best sites to buy this 3D printer. However, if you find some other links where you can buy this one as well, check for the lowest price as possible. In my case, I paid around the 250 US dollars for this machine, calculated back from Euro, of course. When you are going to buy this 3D printer kit, it is already pre-assembled. You have to do little things which you can follow the instruction when building this 3D printer. This 3D printer can be built in half an hour, maybe an hour, I don't know. But if you are going to build this, it's going to be a very nice experience to have. So to compare it with the previous Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. In my case, I have the Ender 3 Pro, which I have modified. So I can not really compare it, but just in general, the things that you will find on the Creality and the 3 version 2. To start with the base, the base has a bigger screen. The screen is in color. This is a very nice 4.3 inch LCD screen. It is not a touch screen. You have still the rotary dial knob, which you can use and press when you want to confirm something. A screen, it's detachable. When you are going to install this uh, screen as well, you don't have to put it on the mount. You can install first the mount and then attach the screen afterwards. It's also better and easier to my opinion. Also, one thing that you will not find on the Ender 3 or the Ender 3 Pro is a drawer with all of your tools really nice put in there. Everything that comes with your Creality Ender 3 version 2, you can just put right inside of this drawer. And then you also have still the, the same controller box that you will find on your Ender 3 Pro. To compare it with the Creality Ender 3, the first version, you had the controller box also on the same side, but you had to access it from the top. On the Ender 3 Pro, you have to turn the 3D printer around to get from the bottom there into your controller board. The controller board is a 32-bit silent stepper driver mainboard. The mainboard is with the TMC2280 stepper drivers, which is assuring to have a very silent printing experience. However, when you are going to print, when the fans kick in, then you will hear only the fans and not actually the printing sound of the stepper motor. Also the Y axis, it's also like the Ender 3 Pro with a 3030 aluminum extrusion uh, profile. But in this case, there is standard a belt tensioner on, on there. For the X axis also there, you have a belt tensioner, which was not standard on the Ender 3 or the Ender 3 Pro. Also, the thing that is also upgraded 
only from the appearance, further nothing else special, is the carriage. The carriage has a brand new uh, cover over it. It's also injected molded plastic and it has the standard MK8 hot end and also a silicon sock with a very nice nozzle. It is printing pretty well. My first prints were looking much better than I had on the Ender 3 Pro. Also the same PTFE tube, which was also standard on the Ender 3 Pro and also the normal Ender 3. A very nice cable management. And also when we are going to look at the extruder, let's turn the print around. The extruder, it's the same kind of principle. Here, Creality already put some clamps on it, which were not on the Creality Ender 3 or the Ender 3 Pro. What they else added was this little extruder knob. When you are loading or unloading filament, it's much easier. So, and then we come to the first thing that I would like to change for a newer version. Make this, this standard out of metal. This is still plastic and plastic can break. It does look nice and it works. With the older version, it was all plastic. Here on the inlet for your filament, there they use brass. It's looking nice, but better was when they start using metal like they did on the Ender 6. This, this, this part is pretty much similar like we saw on the Ender 3 Pro and maybe also on the Ender 3, I don't know. I'm not experienced with that printer, but the knob, th that one is a big improvement. And also when you are looking to it, it uses a metal part to, you know, stiffen it more up. I did some little cable management. I will improve it in the near future. But other than that, this, this is the same kind of cable boom you will find on the Ender 3 Pro. It's the basics are still the same, but one of the things that is improved in comparison with the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro is underneath the Y axis, there is the power supply unit underneath the Y axis. This is very nice looking and also provides more visibility also on the backside. Like mentioned in an earlier video, if you are working, you would, you would like to have a very clear view what is happening with your print. Also, when you are leveling your knobs, it's better accessible. That brings me to another point that I would like to see improved in a newer version. It works, but those are not yellow springs. Yellow springs are much more stiffer and when you are going to level a bed, it will keep the tension on the springs and on the bed better so it's not out of level. And what I also do like about this 3D printer, one of the things that I had to improve to my Ender 3 Pro was a glass bed. The glass bed is on this 3D printer standard. It's the carbon random glass bed and it has a carbon coating on top of the glass plate. And this glass bed is standard attached with two clips and you don't need to have any dovetail clips. I think it's pretty handy. Also one other thing that I need to add to this review about the Creality Ender 3 version 2 is the screen. The screen, when you are going to slice models, you have to make sure that the title or the name of the file is short enough because when you are going to use it, you won't see it. Well, you will see the file name, but in my case, when I was printing parts for the Starship, I had some really long names and eventually it cut off. So to the people of Creality, please do something about it because it's quite annoying if you have similar parts from a Starship and you have to guess which one is which. So you have to shorten the names then to be able to know what you are going to print. So that was one thing that I like to see improve on this screen. And further, it, it is looking nice. It has pre uh, heat profiles for PLA and ABS. However, I don't understand why they are using ABS when you are better printing PTEG on it, to be honest. So the print quality, I printed a lot of parts, but standard, the little dog on the very big 
plate. I need to say that it is looking very nice. I mean, we are talking about a machine of 250 US dollars. I cannot complain about the quality that I get out of this standard uh, Creality Ender 3 version 2. I didn't make any changes. There is no all metal hot end. There is no auto bed leveling. This is a standard machine. And this is the print quality. I need to say I'm very much pleased about this. I printed this skull. This is a, uh, a small key keychain, but it uses a lot of MBs because of the details within the print itself. Some other prints, the, the Cali Cat. The Cali Cat is very happy. It's shiny, it's very smooth. It's looking, it's, it's, uh, it, I'm amazed. This is a standard print quality. And within a B-roll, I'm going to show this because this is awesome. And then I thought, well, let's go into the Photos Mint models and see how well it is going to look like. Well, let's start with this uh, Arthur model. This Arthur model is looking very awesome. It's very smooth. It's very, I, I think this this is amazing. Also, uh, Katos, Katos is, uh, is still looking angry, but I think he's very happy with the result. I think Kratos is very happy because he has a very nice bold head. It's very shiny. So this is a very awesome looking print. Uh, of course, I printed the Starship SN8 with it. Uh, as you saw in my previous video about the Starship SN8 tribute, it's, it's huge. You know, printing a ring, you're done. You remove the print, then start the print all over again, 40 times, something like that. It does work pretty nice. And for a birthday party for a very good close friend of mine, um, I printed the uh, Mandalorian, but because of a little issue in the model, happened twice that the model was kicked off of the build page, so I had to figure something out. But still, just like the Arthur statue, the uh, Kato statue, it is very smooth, it's very shiny. I'm very happy with the result. So what do I think about the Creality and the 3 version 2? Well, it's a very awesome machine. It does do its job. For a price of 250 US dollars or maybe around that price, you cannot complain. If there are some remarks that I can make about this 3D printer, that I really would like to see improved in the near future. The screen, the screen could have longer file names visible for Creality to, to do about this and also the plastic extruder to exchange it for a metal extruder and also a dual geared extruder. It's much nicer because you have a Bowden tube here so it is always better to have something like a double geared extruder. And also for the bed, make sure that there is something like yellow springs so it is much stiffer and the bed will keep level for a longer time. And when we are talking about bed leveling, maybe to add a BL touch standard on these kind of machines instead of leveling it yourself. Other than that, this 3D printer for the price like mentioned, you cannot complain. I will put some affiliate links in the description of this video where you can buy this machine. I get some decent prints without an adding an extra fan, without upgrading my nozzle. Just some Creality Ender 3 Pro slicer settings in Cura and just print. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the link in the description of this video. If you are still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you are there, check out the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video share this video with other people and social media, and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D Prints. Bye-bye. Creality's Ender 3 version.
version. <laughs> version. So when you buy this 3D printer on a site, blah, 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 are the springs to, um, well, I cannot word it. 